Hey everyone, so I wanted to share something cool that just happened in my tank. Um, so yesterday uh, I was at the fish store. Uh, we were going to pick up some snails for the algae cube. And then we were going to uh, just look around and see what else was there. And we saw this uh, skunk cleaner shrimp that was uh, <clears throat> very pregnant. And so we decided, hey, we were kind of planning on getting a second you know skunk cleaner anyways so let's give this pregnant one a shot and so today i was hanging up the blue leds to uh that backlight these uh cabinet doors and i noticed like a cloud of white coming from my uh from my cleaner shrimp now i know this tank is a mess i haven't actually cleaned it in like two weeks and with it being a macro algae tank it's very difficult but I did throw some turbo snails in there to see if we can get this uh, green hair algae under control. But uh, yeah, so I saw this cloud of white, you know, things coming out of or coming away from my cleaner shrimp. So I was like, oh, that must be the baby's got a closer look. And it was. And uh, so basically that filter sock that you see in there, that's where I've kind of collected them. I'm going to try to keep them alive. Um, I took some videos earlier in the day when there was just like hundreds of these things, you know, uh, zipping around, um, and I'll, I'll attach that, you know, I'll probably, you know, uh, insert it where, you know, you guys don't want to stare at this ugly tank. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go back into the fish room and kind of show you how I've got that filter sock set up so that I think it's going to work. We'll have to see. Um, but yeah, so let's check it out. All right, so now that we're in the fish room, uh, I apologize for the close quarters. Um, this is basically a fish closet. Um, I'm going to show you how I set up that filter sock, which is in the cube right there in front of me. Um, so I had very limited resources to set this up, especially on such short notice. I was in the middle of hanging these blue LEDs, as you can see. Now there's a whole bundle of them down there because I had to put that project on hold. But uh, yeah, so basically my manifold here tees off and goes through a carbon reactor. And that carbon's long been exhausted. I don't really run a lot of carbon. But I ran that, I ran the output of that carbon uh, reactor up into the tank. And then I kind of just hung the tank off one of my lights up here. And then we have this. And so the output from the carbon reactor flows into the filter sock and I think it does a pretty good job keeping things moving in there a little bit and it's really hard to see any uh, baby shrimp in there because the filter sock is white um, basically I put that plastic ring and a rock in the bottom to stop the filter sock from collapsing on itself um, or you know moving around because of flow but I think I got maybe a couple hundred of them in there um, they're pelagic right now. I think it takes like a hundred days for them to reach their, uh, their adult, you know, benthic state. So we'll see. Um, probably throw some like reef chili in there every day. That's the only thing I really have to try to feed them. But yeah, I think the, uh, peppermint shrimp that gave birth to them ate quite a few because when I started shooting the videos earlier today, there was like hundreds of them everywhere. I mean, all over the place. And by the time I got ready to start collecting them, I didn't really have much. So, yeah. Um, so this is what we got going here. And we'll see if it works. Let me know if you got any comments. Um, one thing I wanted to do was I started, I don't know if I should reveal it, started setting up a frag tank down here. Um, well, I'm going to shoot a whole separate video on it once it's running. But I almost thought, oh, let's get this running real fast and you know, come up, you know, I can potentially come up with a way to, um, you know, uh, you know, breed them in this 10 gallon frag tank I'm setting up, but, oh, that's what I did for now. Uh, like I said, we'll do another video on the frag tank when it's done. So thanks for watching guys. Let me know if you have any comments.